Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to level up your crafters from level 80 to 90 in preparation for Dawn Trail. This is going to be without food, pots, or even high quality materials. And everything is going to be in a one button macro. So the first thing you guys need is the level 80 script gear, the hand saint, that's the main hand tools, off hand tools, left side, and accessories. Your CP is 507. Question ship is 2606 and control is 2457. And that's all you need. Now, ultimately, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing collectibles, level 81. And then, when you level up enough, start doing level 85 because you cannot turn in anything above level 81 for collectibles. But before that, you guys are going to be burning through your leap quests. I have 100 allowances on my character, and you get 100 every 17 days. So, if you want to wait for that to happen, you can. Since we have plenty of time before Dawn Trail. So, the leave quests unlock in Old Charlene after you have done the introductory quest to the Endwalker story. So, right before you go to Thavnir or Labyrinthos, this will be unlocked. So, you can be doing for Carpenter is... Timber of 10, you need a horse, chestnut, lumber, or three. For blacksmith, it's going to be an archon denied, the hydurium saw. Armor, haste for hydurium, so I'm making uh, durium nuggets. Goldsmith, awarding academic excellence, I'm making three amentrines. Leather worker, hell on leather, making the gaja leather. Weaver, heavy armor, making the dark hempen cloth. Alchemist, wishful inking, making the hydrium ink. And culinarian is going to be salt of the north, making northern sea salt. Notice that when you do this, you're going to be passing in high quality. So you're going to get double the experience, so over a million. And you're going to get double the gill. So basically, if you're going to be buying the stuff off the market board, your gill will be refunded when you do these leave quests. So that's what you're first going to be doing to get yourself to the higher levels so the level 85 turn-ins for collectibles becomes available. Now, for collectibles, some of them will be better than others. For Carpenter, you're going to be doing the rarefied red pine spinning wheel. The level 85 recipes usually require just two materials. That's why it's probably best to do the 85 ones and skip the other ones. Blacksmith, the rarefied bismuth sledgehammer. Armor, the rarefied bismuth fat cat fry pan. For goldsmith, the earrings. Leather worker. You have the gloves, which is a little bit more harder to do. So if you want to skip this and go back to doing leave quests, you can. Weaver. Maybe this one here. Again, these two are probably the exceptions. Alchemist would be the rarefied moon gel. The best way to get these drops is through the gemstones by color from the fates. And culinarian would be the rarefied happiness juice. The only thing you're recrafting is the palm sugar. Everything else is gatherable. So those are the collectible recipes that you're going to be doing once you have access to level 85 turn-ins. Now, for the macro, I have for level 81 gear and also for the materials. So we're going to do the hydrium nugget first. Trial synthesis. No goods or excellence are required as usual. So we have 81 mats, it will be this macro here. This is going to be 81 gear. These will be in the comment section down below in the pinned comment. This is going to be the level 85 gear. And this is going to be the level 84 mats that go with the 85 gear. So we're going to do this one right here. Muscle memory, manipulation, which must be unlocked through Stormblood quests. Waste not two, innovation, three prep touches. Innovation, Great Strides, Barragats, and Groundwork.
Fortunately, we're getting a good. Unfortunately, I can't stop that. And getting poor on Baraka's blessing. So let's try that again. I do wish that they would give us the ability to take off conditions when trial synthesis to make this so much easier on us. And there we go. Much better. All right, there's the macro for the 81 materials. Now for the gear itself. So here's the saw. So then we're gonna be using this one here. Muscle memory, manipulation, voice not two, ground work, innovation, one, two, three, four prep touches, Bavagots, and basic synthesis. Perfect. No goods or excellence on that one. And that's level 81 in gear. Now, if we go to the next thing, which is going to be level 85, the macro for this is muscle memory, manipulation, waste not two, veneration, groundwork, innovation, four prep touches, innovation, great strides, bioregats, groundwork, and basic synthesis. Unfortunately, I'm getting a good on this one, or excellent. So we're probably going to have to do this twice. Easy peasy. Do that again. And as you can see, the experience this one doing level 85 is 273,000. Got another good, unfortunately, but. Basically, this is the macro for it. So trust me when I say this, you don't need any goods or excellence. I have made absolute sure of that. And now for the materials. Which will be run 84 even though you really need to make them high quality. I will anyway. So I'll show you guys the macro after I'm done here. So the macro for 84 was muscle memory, manipulation, waste not two, basic synthesis, innovation, four prep touches, innovation, great strides, bowergots, and careful synthesis. And that'll be for level 84, just in case you want to craft them high quality for the extra experience. Otherwise, you can just make it quick synth of them and then go on. All right, 
So I'm going to be doing this until I get a couple of levels and then we'll move on to passing in collectibles to show you guys how much experience you get from that. All right, I'm back and I just made myself about four saws. So if you're going from fresh level 80, it's going to take you about three turn ins plus the experience that you get from making the item to hit 80 to 81. This is without adding the food buff or free company buffs as well. I'm going to pass these in. So I'm getting 935,000. Now, assuming that that's how much experience you're going to get for each of these turn ins for this specific leave quest. So I got 1.8 million experience. So if I go and grab it again, it seems to be the same amount. All right, the experience seems to be static. Now, granted, I was already halfway to 81 on this, so it kind of makes it a little bit faster for me in my last saw. So this makes me a level 82. See how fast you level up just by doing your leave quests and making them high quality? And look at that, you're making almost 10,000 gil per turn in. So if you're buying the materials, you're most likely going to get back your money. So that is going to be basically what you do until you can get the level 85 turn ins for collectibles. So I'm going to head over to Razad Han right now and just see if I have that unlocked at level 82. So here we are in Razan Han, the collectible appraiser, which is going to be the right hallway from the Aetherite. So unfortunately at level 82, we only get level 83. So I'm assuming once we get to level 83, 85 will unlock, hopefully. So at level 81, collectibles give you 1,055,241 for the highest, which is 494. So you don't really have to complete it all the way to get that max. You just need to be 494 or higher. So doing these can definitely raise you up just as much as the leaf quest if you don't have leaf quest available. So I'm going to have to do about three to four crafts, maybe, yeah, three or four to get myself to 83. Now, if you're wondering how to get these script gear, which is through white scripts, the easiest way to do that is through custom deliveries. You get 12 allowances per week, basically two NPCs a week. So the easiest one is to unlock Zolia Ligapol. She is unlocked by simply doing Go West Craftsman, which is the Mordona script exchange, and this will take you to Edelshire. Then to the right of the script exchange in Edelshire will be the quest to unlock Zloe. Cashier unlocks easily through the main story quest in Shadowbringers, which you should be past that by now. By Nago, I believe she's only unlocked by doing the main story quest The Bull Returns. In Rago's Reach, Kira and I, you must unlock Monago, but also do her side quests and also do the side dungeon, the Violet Tides in the Ruby Sea. Now the pig guy here, or the Alra with the pig mask, is unlocked by doing Zloe, but also doing the side quest of Purple Rain in the Reunion. And then the rest of them are going to be in Endwalker. But they're the easiest way to get your scripts, and if you get a bonus, you get double the experience. So at any script exchange NPC, under crafter, gear, subcategory, level 80, white, you'll have your hand saint, main and offhand, which is 350 a piece, and then the shared gear, which is down here. So with the custom delivery clients, you should be able to get all this pretty easily. And because those recipes are going to be way below your own, you can do trained eye to get quality up to 100%. And then you need to do one or two ground works to get it there. And there you go. Simple and easy. All right. So I'm going to make a couple of the level 81 crafts, pass them in, and get to level 83. All right. So I'm level 83 now. And unfortunately, you have to be at least one level below to unlock that item. 
So in order to unlock 83, you have to be at least level 82. And of course, to unlock level 85 recipes in the menu here, you must be at least level 84. So fun fact, one below to unlock it. So you can be doing 81 to 84 with either the level 81 script items or doing the level 80 turn-ins from the left leaf quest up until 84. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I hit level 84. All right, so I just finished making a bunch of these pistols to pass in. Also, when you're doing a custom delivery clients, they also give you a massive amounts of experience. I think I mentioned that. So you guys can get a leg up from 80 to 81 or 82, depending on how much you actually get. All right, so let's pass these in. I should get a level up. Yep. And now level 84. And there it is. Level 85 recipes for collectibles is now unlocked. So between doing custom deliveries and your leave quests, you should get like about four levels within maybe half an hour. Because my macros, you can make two items per minute. So let's pass in the level 30, uh, 85. And level 85 at max collectability is 1.3 million. So between 84 to 85 is 7.9 million. And there's the big chunk of experience right there. Now the reason why I say do collectibles while trying to get to level 90 is because you're going to be getting your Master Recipe books in order to get the Indicator set if you're going for that before Dawn Trail, which is not 100% required because you easily can get from 90 to 100 with the script gear. So this is why I say do the collectibles to get to 90 so you guys will kill two birds with one stone. So now that I'm level 84, I can now start working on my level 85 collectibles and we'll get to level 85, 86, and 87 just by doing this. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I make a buttload of my sledgehammers. All right, so I just finished crafting 10 sledgehammers. Now each one of these gave me 273,878 experience. So by making five, I gain a million just from doing that. Now this is without any buffs. I don't think there's any manuals that you can use from 80 to 90. So it's basically just experience from the craft, some food buff, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and pass all these in. So that's 85. And I'm going to be capped out on my scripts. So again, come over here, script exchange, master recipes, and they're going to cost you 1200 white scripts for each book. So it's grade 10. So yeah, this is why you want to do those as fast as possible and early as possible. Now let's pass in the rest. It's 86. And now we have access to level 87 recipes, but we're going to stick to 85. All right. So we're going to go back and continue making eight more sledgehammers and hopefully those will give us to level 87, 88. All right, I am back and fun fact, once you hit level 86, take off basic synthesis from the macro because your craftsmanship goes up because of the levels and basic synthesis isn't needed anymore. So I made eight more sledgehammers. So now I can pass these in for a couple more levels. So close, so about nine or 10 from 86 to 87. So we're almost there and we've just been doing collectibles the whole time. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is leave quests. There's two challenge logs you can get done. One complete five with different leave plates, which you'll see on the top right, and then complete 20 leave quests. Now, the best thing to do is do some of these on a battle job and then a botanist or miner or a fisher, and then come back and finish off the last one on a crafter to make sure that goes into a crafter job. And this one just goes in naturally. In the crafting and gathering section, you have craft 30 items, craft 20 high quality items. That's why I gave you the macro to do 
the materials and then desynthesize five items for a chunk of experience. So it doesn't really matter what you desynthesize as long as you're desynthesizing something. And that unlocks at level 30 and old da. So just like this. And one more to get the experience. Alright, so I got 952,000 and 900 just for doing that challenge. And I believe that is the only ones that are there. Now the other thing is make sure you do your Grand Company turn-ins, which I completely forgot. That's going to give you a massive amount of experience and you get double or triple, I think it is, with a star. So definitely want to make sure that you do that. That's definitely something that I totally forgot to mention. So do that too. But ultimately that's what you do to level up from 80 to 90. Last but not least is going to be the custom deliveries from the studio. This unlocks after you have completed your first dungeon in Endwalker. So Jude takes care of Leatherworker, Weaver, and Carpenter. You can pass in these items to all three jobs to spread the experience. This one takes care of Alchemist and Culinarian. And this one takes care of Blacksmith, Armorer, and Goldsmith. Now the 81 macro that I use can actually go up to level 85. But the thing is, you can take out Byragot's Blessing and replace Basic Synthesis with Careful. So I'm just going to tweak this real quick. I'll leave Barragats in there. There you go. Barragats not even needed up to level 85. And careful is not enough, so you have to do another basic. Alright, simple as that. So that's going to be up to level 85. I'm assuming once you get to level 88, you most likely will have to add in Byragots, and then most likely does the ground work will get you there. And as for level 90, you can see that the difference is not even that much higher. So I guess you can see you can take the 81 macro and tweak it all the way up to 90. That'll save you a lot of time. So make sure you do all of them. Like I mentioned earlier, even bonus and minor to get a secret minion and a cool cutscene to go with it. Just like the ones in Shadowbringers. But as long as you follow my advice, you will get to level 90 in probably a couple of hours. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, Comment, subscribe, and share for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to support my channel even further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter, YouTube member, or support me on Ko-Fi. Links in the description down below. And a huge thank you to all my YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and Ko-Fi members. And a huge extra thank you to the members on screen. So until next time, we you for walking the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.